my father was a Brahmin, a Hindu Brahmin, and my mother was a Christian, a staunch Catholic woman. She was an Anglican, and then when the Anglican Church left India, she was more into Catholic, into the Catholicism and in the Catholic Church. I was educated through, throughout my life in Catholic schools. So there's a huge influence of Catholic faith in my life. Um, and then after about 20, 22 years of married life, my father converted to become a Christian. So the Christian faith and um, the complete surrender to our Lord Jesus is a big, big, uh, uh, strength for me without which I will not be able to do what I do today and for me my rock is Jesus and there is no two ways about it. In terms of my motto, my inspiration in life is not to be ministered unto but to minister which comes straight from the Bible. Okay, not to be ministered unto, but to minister. And that is how I started Healing Fields Foundation. Because I feel that each of us have been put on this earth to fulfill a mission of God. And all of us have chosen to be the miracle worker that Jesus has created, has given us a very strong purpose. So for me to going back to my uh, Bible is extremely important. My faith is extremely important. The morning devotions is very, very important. That's where I draw my day strength from. There, where are the leaders? We have one Mother Teresa. Where are the others? And I think we give a lot of uh, emphasis, so should it be, to the religious. What about the lay people? The lay people, what about people outside who are working in outside areas other than in the church? Okay, the focus is not there. The focus is very inward looking rather than outward looking. We need to be especially in this day and age where historically we have changed. There was a time in India, education and healthcare were in the hands of the missionary and Christian organizations. Today, it is not so. We have moved. Okay. There are a lot of other missionaries other than the Christian missionaries in India. And there are a lot more schools there are a lot more corporate hospitals. So we need to be a little bit more inclusive within the church. Start including people who are doing things outside of the church parameters, who are Catholics, who are lay people. We need to be inclusive of that. I don't see much of that happening. That needs to change. And uh, when Pope Francis became the Pope, and his focus has been outward in terms of bringing more people to the faith. I've heard about it a lot. I have been reading about it a lot. But I want to see it in action. And I know it is going to take time. It is going to take time because the whole mindset has to change. Because if we look at the church, as far as the little that I know of, we are a patriarchal. We are a hierarchical. We are a patriarchal church. We need to move. Patriarchy has its own positives, but it needs to be more inclusive. Inclusive of women, inclusive of women being treated as equal to men, women to be treated more than being just the homemakers or the nurses or the teachers. We need to move beyond that. We need to be able to nurture leaders. We need to be able to nurture leaders from catechism classes onwards. And we need to be able to give that message across to young girls growing. As 
church members, we need to be more active. No doubt about it. We need to be more active. And I, and I believe that um, we need to break those barriers. Yeah? So it has to be an inclusive. It has to be where the church and the lay members and the members of the parishioners and the members of the church work together to be able to create a platform where this can be facilitated. This kind of free thinking is facilitated and we would be able to bring about changes in leadership. But right now, as I see it, at least for India, I'm not seeing many women or any woman for that matter as leaders within the church.